What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. I am Lonnie from Playtune Gaming. Today we are continuing with our little trip across Canada here uh, in the Phoenix A320. These, pretty much this tour is going to be exclusive to the A320. I think we got maybe two flights in the CRJ and one with the uh, 737, but uh, we are back in the Phoenix uh, after taking a nice little inaugural flight in that E-190 aircraft um, provided by Flight Sim Studios. Uh, we are on the ground in Winnipeg. We are at Gate 9. And we are headed to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And this is a real world flight flown by Air Canada. Once again, I got the call sign up top. Air Canada 291 is the call sign. This flight is operated daily uh, from Winnipeg over to Calgary. I believe it's done uh, with Air Canada, I believe WestJet always fl uh, also flies out there as well. And uh, this flight is about an hour and 50 minutes or so, or about two hours. It all depends on, I guess, the weather and winds. Uh, but it is about 700 nautical miles. Uh, from Calgary, we will be doing another flight over to Saskatoon. So basically, we're going to backtrack one other province, and then from Saskatoon... We are going to come back to Alberta. Uh, we are going to Edmonton. And then Edmonton. We are doing a Ye Edmonton to Yellowknife run. Yellowknife to Vancouver. And then I believe we're going to squeeze in Kelowna as well. We haven't showcased Kelowna yet. It's uh, another beautiful airport. Um, I think it was done by... I think it's Flight Sim Studios. I don't remember to be honest, but... Beautiful airport, beautiful arrival into Kelowna as well. But anyways, ladies and gents, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get things rocking and rolling. And we are going to provide, uh, I guess, a third video on the channel um, by the end of the week. So the schedule is a little off. We have the E-190 that came out. So we want to make sure we got that We got that video out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just wanted to say thank you to everybody who comes out to support the channel. My Flight Sim Studio E-Jets videos do very well on this channel, so uh, I thank everybody for that. Uh, anyways, let's jump inside here. Let's get this aircraft ready to go. Uh, we are currently boarding. We'll import our plan from Simbrief. Beautiful. Come over to the Mass and Balance tab. Let's go ahead and load that aircraft instantly. Bang. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, over to the McDo here. We'll come over here and make sure our nav data is, uh, I guess, current and accurate, and it is. We come over to the Atsu tab here. We'll make sure to uh, init data request for our flight. Beautiful. Come over to the init tab here. We'll init request. Call sign Air Canada 291. Uh, cost index for today's flight is 5, and we are climbing up to 36,000. Uh, I want to apologize to everybody if you feel like these flights are a little bland because it's with Air Canada. I do apologize. Um, I guess the purpose was to just do a little travel across Canada with some of the great scenery that, that we have in the sim. Um, i trying to think. Would this be our last... A320 flight, it might be. It might not be. I can't. I think the flight from Vancouver to Kelowna might be with WestJet. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, zero fuel weight uh, 57.9, 32.1. Uh, block fuel, we have a block fuel of. We're planned for 92.80. So we'll go 9.2. Fantastic. Go over to the flight plan tab here. Uh, we are expecting to depart off of runway 18. Uh, we are on the Winnipeg 2 departure. It's just pretty much runway heading and vectored to our uh, filed route. In Calgary, we are expecting the ILS 3-5 uh, right approach. And we have an arrival. We're on the Burko arrival. Let me pull up the via Pickla. 
Burko 5 via Picla. Plug that in. Bam. It's all plugged in here. We'll look at all of this. There's going to be some radar vectors to final, so we're not going to clear any discons. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty cool arrival landing on the 3.5s in Calgary. You get a nice downtown view on the left side of the aircraft, so we're excited for that. As long as the winds are, you know, relatively the same once we get out there, uh, should be good to go. We'll come over to the perf tab here. We'll get our V speeds in here, so we'll come up here. Come to our departure perf. We'll change this uh, runway 18. It's currently dry. We'll sync the live weather now. Let's just verify our weather conditions here because sometimes this is all incorrect. Uh, James Armstrong Richardson International. Currently, it's not plus 10. It's minus 1. Altimeter 3009. Hopefully, this gets fixed. Optimum flap takeoff. We'll keep it optimum. We'll just do a flaps one. Who cares? Uh, no anti-ice. We don't do any of that. We'll calculate. 150, 150, 152. Trans alt is 18,000 here. Flaps one down 0.3. Flex to temp, 65. Engine out, ACC, 790. Plug that, plug that in, perfect. We'll fig, uh, finish the rest of the aircraft here. So 122.8, Unicom. Um, turn on all that. Squawking 2000, beautiful. We'll come up here. So, what did we say altimeter was? 3009. Um, I'm going to quickly brief myself here. We'll have a look at the departure momentarily, but I think we're climbing up to 3,000 feet. And that's what we are doing. Climbing up to 3,000 feet as per the SID. And there we have it. Let's open up Navigraph here. We'll uh, quickly brief ourselves. Uh, Winnipeg 2 departure. Runways 13, 18, and 31. So we are departing off runway 18, so it's going to be uh, radar. So it's going to be um, runway heading and then sign for vectors to assign route climb, maintain 3000. That's the initial climb clearance. That's pretty standard for any uh, standard heading departures. Um, we're going to make a left turn, and then I believe our first waypoint is going to be Livby. That's, uh, that's really about it. We are done boarding. We are sitting on the ground here, gate number 9. So if we had to guess our... Taxi brooding here. We're going to um, probably nose right tail left. We'll take Echo to Foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot over to Tango. Tango holds short to runway 18. And that looks pretty good. Our weather information. The winds are 180 at 17, gusting 25. Going to get my ass kicked on takeoff. Scatter clouds at 10,000 feet. It's minus 1. Altimeter 3009. Uh, it's going to be a pretty... Pretty spicy departure. Boarding has been completed. Let's go ahead and fire up the uh, APU. Let's get our fuel pumps on. And beacon light can come on. And come over to GSX. We will prepare for pushback. Don't worry about the ice treatment. Come over to the Phoenix tab here. Coming over to ground services. Our APU is on. We'll get rid of the GPU and chocks and cones. Beautiful. Hello, We're ready for pushback. Man, freaking tastic. It's a beautiful sunrise departure here. Two hour flight. 
Um, it'll be a nice, crisp morning in Calgary. Should be pretty fun. Check completed. Bypass been inserted. Flight Sim Studios has recently put out an update for both their aircraft, the E-170-75s and the E-190-95s. Uh, I do know that they have updated the liveries for the E-190s, so finally Breeze Airways are in there, as well as they had added some pretty cool ones. JetBlue, they got three different JetBlue liveries, Locking which is here. pretty cool, but finally Breeze Airways has made it. We'll do, definitely do a flight with Breeze Airways. Uh, what I like about Breeze is they don't really, they're a very low-cost carrier, so they don't fly into like, they, they can fly into really big airports, uh, but they choose little regional airports, so definitely we're going to be flying into some regional airports with the E-190 uh, with Breeze. Uh, once we wrap this up, I could probably squeeze in another uh, E-Jets flight for next week. We'll probably plan another one in North America. Um, definitely with, with Breeze. I want to do that flight from Provo all, all over to Denver. Uh, nose right, tail left. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes released. Engine start switch over to start. Engine number two. Also, I do want to uh, I do want to note. So apparently there is a, I guess a new mod out um, for frame gen. Just want to qu quickly talk about this. Um, I believe AMD had released their code out to the public. Uh, and the problem is, I guess, NVIDIA had said that they were, I guess, frame, frame gen was exclusive to their 40 series cards only. Which kind of makes them look stupid that AMD has provided this. Um, I have done the mod, actually, and I have to say it does work. Um, instant double FPS. In Montreal, in this aircraft, I would get on average 30 to 36 FPS. Um, in, you know, snowy conditions, cloudy, and that's an MK Studio airport. Uh, I instantly got 80 FPS smooth 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 um, a lot of people were talking about ghosting I didn't have any ghosting I just followed the instructions but uh, we're not currently using frame gen with this video I, I, I don't know what the long-term effects are with the actual um, with the graphics card I don't know if it actually does anything to the graphics card or if it's just a mod um, you do have to change your Windows registry it's part of the download file but, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens with, uh, with the upcoming updates that will be provided by those developers, because I'm sure they're going to continue to develop the mod. It's almost guaranteed. Um, but it is crazy how you can instantly get double FPS. Hopefully, either Flight Sim or NVIDIA. I mean, NVIDIA at this point will probably have to provide an update and give hopefully the frame gen to the 20 and 30 series cards as well because clearly it's you're able to do it um but yeah instant double fps go ahead and check it out if, if, if you guys are interested i can maybe put the uh for the pc users i can maybe put a link in the description of the video to that and it's free all you have to do is just create a user account you don't have to donate you can if you'd like um, but it is free and it does work. I had no bugs with my i9. I got an 11th gen i9 with an RTX 3080. And uh, everything was mint. So. Uh, engine start switch going back to norm. We'll go ahead and turn the APU off. Taxi lights will come on. Um, we are flaps one. Ground spoilers armed and down 0.3. Something like that. But yeah, next gen. Next gen GPUs are insane. I could not believe the the performance. It was absolutely incredible. But yes, I'm just unaware of, of the risks behind using it with the GPU. Um, I don't know, you know, what what softwares are being loaded to it. But uh, definitely, we'll uh, we'll consider it. And as long as everything works out, I don't see why I wouldn't use it. I know Captain Canada, he is using it. He's been doing some... Sorry, I don't know if he's using it. He's been doing some testings with it. Um, but definitely game changer in terms of performance. Absolutely game changer. Parking brake coming off. Takeoff config is okay. Auto brake. Max that one out. In the cabin and 
once again, let's quickly brief our taxi routing here. We are on Echo, or the apron. We're going to go Lima. So we'll make a quick right. Or you know what? We'll just go all the way to uh, Whiskey. Or Foxtrot. I think this is Whiskey here. Foxtrot. Um, we'll just go straight. Foxtrot over to Tango. Tango holds short of runway 18. That's about it. BMDG is teasing their 777. I cannot wait for that aircraft to come into the simulator. Um, they are in cur they're currently in beta testing, which is insane. Uh, that means um, as long as beta testing goes okay, I'm hoping we'll have an aircraft probably, I would say, maybe by end of January, February. That would be pretty cool. Uh who else is doing so we have any builds coming out with the a300 i'm still unsure if i'm going to get that aircraft um and then fly by wire tease their a380 definitely we'll have to do a flight in that one and here's foxtrot take it all the way up to tango and then we'll tango down tango and hold short runway 18. angles right here we'll go ahead and make a right turn there's no question flight sim so this airport is done by flight sim studios there's no question they need to keep developing canadian scenery no question hopefully we'll get some uh other scenery you know um the flight to saskatoon is uh is going to be by sim add-ons it's not you know it's a good airport it's good scenery um but it's not the higher quality level of detail but hopefully you know flight sim studios will continue to develop canadian airports uh, hopefully we'll get to see you know some parts of northern manitoba um you know even parts of the prairies out there pei would be pretty cool if they could redo that Sorry, Sim Adlons has a PEI, but it'd be pretty cool if Flight Sim Studios can do a PEI airport. Um, we have Greater Moncton, we have Halifax, or even some you know some scenery in Quebec too. It'd be pretty epic. They're doing a great job over at Flight Sim Studios with the small team that they have. They do a fantastic job, in my opinion. Very grateful for them.
So we are climbing up to 3,000. Climb and maintain 3,000 on departure. So it's runway heading. And then we're going to go direct Livby. That is our plan. Landing lights, runway turns, nose lights over to takeoff, wing lights, we're all lit up like a Christmas tree. Let's do it, ladies and gents. We got a beautiful headwind. Not the best lineup job, but we'll go ahead and straighten her out. Pretty big runway, so we'll be good to go. Go ahead, stop here, ladies and gents. Enjoy the takeoff. Throttle's up 40%. And stable. Flex set. Eighty knots checked. One fifty two rotate and V one rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear going up. Beautiful. We'll get her up 36,000 feet on today's journey. Pitch her down. I can feel like it's, it's pretty windy. Make sure we follow those flight directors. Beautiful, ladies and gents. I want to show some wing views, but I want to focus on flying the aircraft. Flaps up. Ground spoilers are disarmed. We'll go ahead and we'll pitch for climb. And we are going to go direct live B on course. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still hand flying this. Runway turns can come off. Nose lights can come off. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and straighten her out. And we'll go ahead and throw the autopilot on. We'll come upstairs. We'll clean it all up. Everything looks fantastic up here. Beautiful. Nice little beautiful departure out of Winnipeg. You can see the airport down there in the distance. The sun's starting to rise. Fan freaking tastic, ladies and gents. Should be coming up on 10,000 feet here. Let's go ahead and monitor the rest of this flight. 10,000 feet. Landing lights coming off. Wing lights coming off. Let's enjoy some views, shall we? No snow on the ground yet. I do have live weather enabled. I'm just not sure if uh, this is how accurate it looks on this present day. A little bit of snow there in the fields there, but uh, some fields have it, not all. Still didn't buy Accu season. Still undecided. Um, I'll make that decision f definitely for the next flight. How about that? I kind of want to check it out, you know. But right now, like even in southern Ontario here, and you know, I live in the GTA. Um, it's like, you know, f four days before Christmas and we have no snow. And on Christmas Day, if I'm not mistaken, we are expecting plus 10 in terms of temperature, which is wild. It's wild for Canada. Global warming in full effect, right? Global warming in full effect. Um, nothing you can do about that. Other than hopefully, you know, try to do what the government asks you to do in terms of buying electric ve vehicles and all that crap. You know, I'm for it. I'm, I'm, I'm not against it, but you have to understand, like, you can't be biased about being for the, the environment when, you know, to dig up the resources that they need to build these electric vehicles, they use <laughs> diesel trucks. Right? So it's... I'm for saving the planet, I guess, but I just think it's pretty hilarious and laughable, in my opinion. Being a mechanic here, you know, I, I work for Honda. Um, we are starting to roll out some hybrid vehicles. And it's all relatively... I guess, I'm going to say it's new to Honda. We had some older vehicles that had hybrid systems. Um, the problem is we just don't... We didn't have the market here in Canada. We didn't sell many of them, so we don't really see too many of them. Uh, but in 2024, we are getting a fully EV vehicle. It's the Honda Prologue. And the dealers are now... Uh, they have started their electrification, I guess, process in order to get the dealers up to par for these new vehicles. And, you know, it's coming. I think the government in Canada, all vehicles manufactured for Canada need to be 100% fully electric. I don't know if they're going to meet that or not. You have 11 years to do that. I don't think they're going to meet that. I think it might be a little bit closer to 2050. By the time that really happens, there's going to be some delays with that. And then um, I think Honda's goal was by 2030 to have two-thirds of their vehicle electric or have an electric model. 
So we don't have Honda Civic. We had a Honda Civic Hybrid. We just didn't sell anything. Um, but that's coming out soon. And right now, Honda's in the works of getting their, at least the hybrid model to all vehicles. But anyway, enough uh, yipping about that. Let's go ahead. Standard pressure is set left and right sides, ladies and gents. I'm going to fly this beast up to 36,000 feet. We are direct in Dukepo at the moment. And I'll catch y'all on the descent into Calgary. We are expecting the ILS 35 right approach. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. Enjoy the rest of the video, ladies and gents. Peace! What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the video. Uh, we are on the descent into Calgary. We have switched runways. We are expecting the ILS 17 left approach. Uh, no longer the 35 due to the wind correction happening currently at this present time. We are just passing uh, flight level 210 and we're heading down to 9,000 feet. Uh, let's open up the charts here. We'll have a look at our arrival. So, uh, for runway uh, 17 left, we are still on the Burkle 5 arrival. Uh, we have just passed uh, uh, Datav and we're coming up on Kelnu. Uh, we got to be below 15,000, max 230 by Burko. So what I can actually do is um, we'll go ahead and go manage speed. We'll get that aircraft down to there. Um, but from Burko, uh, we are going to tow tub which we got to be at 9,000 feet. And then it's a right turn heading 278 to LSOG. And we have another restriction there for the speed. And then radar vectors to final. The weather information currently. Uh, the winds are 180 at 7, visibility 15. Few clouds at 12,000, broken at 25,000. Uh, zero degrees, altimeter 29er, 9er 2. And here is the final approach. Uh, the ILS charts here for runway 17 left. So we have minimums of 3806. Uh, once we uh, are on, I guess, vectors to final, we're going to go 6,500 feet, and then we'll descend down to the runway. Our nav frequency is 109.15, 18,000 is the trans out. And uh, let's have a look in the aircraft here, make sure uh, we have a restriction. So we're going to go 29 or 9 or 2 on the altimeter. Both left and right. Fantastic. We'll come down here. We'll come over to the perf tab into our approach information here. And everything looks fantastic because I had already preset that. Um, at Burko, we need to be max 230 on the speed. So there is no restriction in there yet. Um, but below 15,000. And uh, we'll actually, we'll get the speed down to 230. Not sure why the speed didn't uh, get put in there. That's okay. And also, well, once I actually... Get rid of these spoilers. We'll see. These speeds should be adjusting and changing. Keep her coming in the time being. Beautiful day for flying out here in Calgary. We have the... Uh, 
the sun coming up over there. Very nice. Again, unsure about live weather here. I don't know um, if there's a live weather bug at the moment, but no snow. And there's our green dot coming back in for the VNAV. Lovely. Keep the speed brakes out a little bit longer. And you can see the Rockies out in front. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. The airport is out there somewhere. We are expecting gate 73 once we uh, get on the ground um, in Calgary. I'm just going to pull up our charts here. We'll do a taxi briefing after we land. Hopefully we'll vacate on Delta 3. Uh, and then we're going to go Bravo over to Apron. I think it's Apron 1. Looking for gate 73. Beautiful, beautiful. Monitor the rest of this here. We got to be at 9,000 feet. Everything's looking good. Actually, I guess what I can do is, from here, we'll go down to 6,500. There's going to be a restriction, and then the aircraft will continue its descent. 10,000 feet, go ahead. Landing lights can come on. Uh, landing system, landing guidance will come on. It is an ILS approach. Two ten on the speed coming up at L sub. We'll go ahead and activate the approach phase. Two ten on the speed. Beautiful arrival coming into Calgary. I believe Calgary is a WestJet hub. I'm sure there's an Air Canada hub here as well. A lot of flights, though, out of Edmonton and uh, Calgary with WestJet. And I believe this scenery was done by Flight Sim Studios. I picked it up sometime over the summer. They had released it, I believe, probably sometime in August. It's pretty cool. see the lead in lights over there we 
have our glide slope coming alive now. Uh, we don't need to vector ourselves out too far. I'm going to go ahead and we'll go direct Vic T. We'll actually go direct right now. About 13 miles out. We're going to go ahead flaps one. And we'll go ahead and arm the ground spoilers. And I'm going to arm loke and approach mode. And I'm just going to brief our missed approach here. Climb to 4100, heading 165, then climb left to 7000. Beautiful. Localizer should be coming in momentarily. We're waiting for it to establish. Pretty hazy out there this morning. There's Glide. Glide's coming in, waiting for Loke. Glide slope in Loke. Activated. Runway turns. Make sure we get our nose lights on as well. Eleven miles out. We'll maintain one ninety. Going up 7,000 feet on our missed approach. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead, flaps two. Got a nice headwind here. Should be a smooth arrival. Gear down. Flaps three. Keep her coming. And we got flaps full. All right, we got gear down. Three green flaps are set. We are just waiting. A thousand feet. We'll go ahead and take the aircraft. Beautiful.
You can see the beautiful Calgary skyline out there. One thousand. One thousand feet, check my aircraft. And let's get her down on the ground, shall we? And we're looking for Delta Three. Poppies and glide slope disagreeing. I'm going to go ahead and fly poppies on this one. Above. Glide slope. Disregard that. We are looking good. Glide Stable. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Landing. Glide slope. 40, 30, 20, retard, 10, 5. Verse out. I'll take that all day, ladies and gents. I'll take that all day. And I think that's Delta 3. And we missed it. We'll keep it rolling down, ladies and gents. Welcome down to Calgary. We are looking... Uh, actually, we are going to make Delta 3. I apologize. That was Delta 6. So, no need for medium brakes there. We could have simply done low brakes. It's all good. We'll vacate off Delta 3. Go ahead and call up GSX. And we're looking for gate 73. And we want good old Air Canada. Fantastic, fantastic, beautiful. And we're looking for Bravo. I think we're going straight across. I think we passed Bravo. Then the flaps, ground spoilers are disarmed. We're on Juliet. This is okay. Just wrap her back around here. A little stuttery here. Performance is not all that great at this airport. Go ahead and start up the APU. I'll take that landing all day long. And if you haven't grabbed this scenery, I highly recommend it. Definitely uh, highly detailed. Uh, not super optimized, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see what this, you know, how this airport performs with the next-gen mod on uh, NVIDIA RTX cards. But, um, you know, 30 FPS, that was like any builds JFK, any builds LAX type, you know, performance. A uh, little work needed to be done here. But still beautiful. Still a fantastic airport, it's very detailed. Um, they do international flights out of here, too. If I'm not mistaken. I think there are some flights from Europe. And 
should be making it right up here. I think we're going in here, ladies and gents. Looks like there's a hotel there right on the airport. That's pretty cool. We're looking for gate 73. Gate 73 is right here. Beautiful. Cut that turn in. Try to butter a parking job here. Parking brake coming on, come back up top here. Please cut engines, APU bleed coming off. Engine one, engine two. Over to GSX, we will request deboarding. Uh, Seatbelt lights can come off, fuel pumps will shut her all down. Fantastic, beacon light, we'll send that off as well. Ladies and gents, welcome. Once again, down to beautiful Calgary International. And we'll let uh, GSX do its own thing. We'll do a quick little pan around here. we got an Air Canada hangar off to our right. Highly detailed airport. Beautiful downtown imagery there. And the Marriott Hotel. Fantastic. Anyways, ladies and gents. I want to thank you all for coming out and flying with me today. Um, we have a scheduled flight. We are going Calgary down to, or sorry, back to, uh, not back to, but we're going in the opposite direction. We're going to Saskatoon, ladies and gents. Calgary to Saskatoon. We are going to be in the PMDG 737. There are no uh, A320 ops at this present time from Calgary to uh, Saskatoon. Now, PMDG, I believe they did a livery update for WestJet, so we're going to check that out. I don't remember if it's the new one or not. They're, the WestJet has a new livery out on their 737s. Uh, I believe it is. Um, but we'll make sure we get that video out rolled, rolled into the end of the week, and then we'll start off with a banger. Uh, Christmas Day, there is a video going out. Um, I am doing some flights on uh probably on christmas eve so we'll most likely almost conclude this little journey here we will be going from saskatoon back to edmonton i believe that is also going to be in the 737 um and then uh, we are going up to Yellowknife from edmonton in the crj so stay tuned for that ladies and gents and i'll catch y'all in the next video enjoy the rest of your week Peace.